What's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the New York Knicks My NBA Franchise Mode here on NBA 2K21 Next Generation on the PS5. And we are here in the second round of the postseason, of course. And this one is a big episode, as of course we are looking to take out the Boston Celtics, but we've got to go into the TD Garden. I really don't like how it says Celtics Arena. I don't like how it says Knicks Arena. Can we get the arena licenses plays in this game? That would make it so much better. But if you guys could go ahead and drop a like on the video, help to continue to support the channel and the series as a whole. Thank you guys so very, very much. And make sure you're subscribing if you're new to the channel and you love franchise content because that is all we do here. As Colin Sexton looks to lead the New York Knicks out on the road here against Jalen Brown and the Boston Celtics. This should be a very big matchup here in game number three of this series. If you missed last episode, definitely go back and check that out. But we are underway in game number three. Knicks lead the series two games to none, but a big three ball to start the game for the Celtics. They take a three-point lead until Zach Levine is able to tie it up at three with a three of his own. Now Colin Sexton on the offensive end with Kira Lewis. Nice little assist, nice dish and swish. And it is six to three. Here's Jalen Brown though on the drive. Big right-handed dunk. He brings that one down. And it is six to five, New York. Here's Kemba Walker. He's a tough cookie and he hits a three ball as he gets the shot he was looking for. Eight to six. Here's Kemba Walker with the dish to Williams. Williams on the drive. He gets the shot and the foul. 10-6 was the score at that point. It would be 11-6. Here's Kira Lewis. He's looking for a three ball. Passes up the shot to get it over to Colin Sexton for three. And he's able to hit it, get the Knicks within two points once again. Here comes Kemba. And Kemba, nice little drive and take. Four-point lead for the Celtics. Kira Lewis misses a three. This one comes down. Coleco able to pick it up. Gets it over to Colin Sexton for the long two. And the Knicks down those two points. Under seven minutes to play in the first quarter. There's a short shot missed, but Williams able to get the tip in for Boston. And we've got a four-point lead for the Boston Celtics. Here's Sexton from deep three-point range. He gets that to go. 15-14 is the score here later on. Williams for three from the corner. He hits. 18-14 and a four-point Boston Celtic lead as we are coming up on four and a half minutes. There's a three that rattles on in for Jalen Brown. And the Celtics take a seven-point lead here from the corner for three. That one is good as well. And Naismith able to make that one. It's a 10-point game. Here comes Tatum on a drive, and he gets the dunk. 3-11 to play. Knicks had to take a timeout there. They were down 12. Now they're down 10. Here comes Tatum again on a drive. Taking contact, getting to the bucket. You love to see the toughness. Here's Carter Galt from three. He comes in off the bench, providing a little spark with his three-pointer. It's an eight-point game. 142 remains. Here's Tatum. He's going to get it over to Edwards, and Edwards will nail the three-pointer from beyond the arc. 11-point lead. Knicks get it back to within 10 after making a free throw, and this drive is also good. A very nice drive from Williams. 33-21, here's Brooks. Tyler Brooks, and he will hit from deep. 24-33, we haven't called his name much this series so far, but here he is again, this time passing out to OB Toppin for three, and he will OB draining shots in this game. 33-27, not a lot of time left in the first. Carter Galt trying to make the shot at the end of the first. He's not able to get it to go. The Knicks able to get it back to within six points at 33-27 at the first quarter break here at the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. We will be right back. Starting off this second quarter, here comes Kira Lewis on a drive. He passes it out to Zach Levine. Levine for three, it is good. 
And the Knicks back within three points. Here comes Juice Manley. He is going to pass up a shot, get it over to Zach Levine. Levine going to pass up the shot to get it back to Juice Manley, and he will knock a three down off the bench. 33 all, Juice Manley. We all know his three-point shooting prowess. Here comes Kemba Walker with the left hand and the foul. And they would go back up three, Boston. 36-33, here comes Levine on the drive. He gets it to go. Nick's still down one. 8.40 remaining in the second quarter. Here's Kemba Walker after the sidestep. He gets the shot to go. Three-point lead for Boston. Still now back down to one. There's Brown on the drive. Picks up the foul as well. Wouldn't get the free throw to go, though. Here's Levine. In a three-point game, Levine with the drive and the two-handed slam for Zach Levine. Let's take another look at this beauty. Look at this slam in this Eastern Conference semis. Here's Levine. He's going to go to his left and another wide open, this time around <laughs> over the head dunk. You'll love to see it, and that gives the Knicks a one-point lead. Here comes Colin Sexton. He's coming on the inside. He's going to throw it over to Allen. Allen back out to Levine for three. Hits from deep. Four-point lead for the New York Knicks as the Celtics take a timeout with 6.08 to play in the half. Four-point lead for the Knicks. Here's Kemba Walker with it. Five and a half minutes to play in the half. Jalen Brown, wide open three. No doubt, smacks that one down. One-point lead for the Knicks. Here comes Kemba Walker on the drive, gets the shot to go, and picks up the foul. Free throw is good. It's a two-point lead for Boston. This game is going back and forth. It is quite the contest, and Coleco, the big center, throwing down a three. Knicks led it by one there, and then a three-pointer there as well. Knicks have made five more threes than the Celtics so far in this one, and Carter Galt showing off some dunking prowess. Not something we thought we'd see from him. He's averaging six point, 16 points a game this year. There's a wide-open shot. That one is good baseline, 52-48. Here's a three from Travion Graham. He gets it to fly down. Five-point lead for the Knicks. There's the pass from Carter Galt. Gets it over to Graham. Graham to a wide open Brooks for three. That is good. The Knicks with a lot of ball movement finding that open shooter. 58-50. Here's Tatum. He's going to get it to Edwards. Edwards back out to Tatum. Tatum with the pump. Tatum's going to go to his left side. He is picked up and wide open Langford in the corner for three. Celtics able to find an open shooter. Under two minutes to play in the half. Here's OB Toppin. Carter Galt now. He will get it into the corner to Brooks. Brooks for three. It is good. Knicks take an eight-point lead here at the TD Garden. Not a lot of time left in the half. Celtics looking for that last shot. Weber from deep. It's too short. And the three-quarter court shot goes in and out. And that is how we will go into the half at the TD Garden. Knicks lead on the road by eight points, 61 to 53. We will be back for the second half after this. And we're back taking a look at the halftime stats. 54% for the Knicks, 49 for the Celtics. Not used to seeing the Knicks shoot a better percentage than their opponent. They have also out-rebounded and out-assisted the Boston Celtics. Zach Levine, 17 first-half points. The Knicks here facing a little bit of a scoring drought. They haven't scored in about two and a half minutes, dating back to the first half. There's a three from Kira Lewis to end that drought. Now the Celtics. Here's Williams. Williams looking for that open shooter. He doesn't find him. Tatum, though, is going to move himself and create his own shot for an easy two. 64-57 the score. Later on, it's 69-60. Nice. Here's Porter. He's going to go to his left. Porter now looking to drive. He's going to pass it back out. Wide open Tatum. Easy money from deep. 69-63. Again, nice. Here is Sexton. He's going to get it out to Zach Levine. Levine on the drive and the one-handed slam to make it 71-63 and an eight-point lead once again for New York. Here's Kemba. He's going to go to his right. He's going to shoot one up, and wow, it goes down. What a shot. What a three from Kemba Walker. He's been known to make some incredible shots in his career. Here's Sexton, and there's the two-handed slam after the drive, 73-66. Nick still with that lead. 
Here comes Kira Lewis, and he will get it to go. 75-66 in this third quarter. Williams going to get it inside to Brown. Brown with a nice turnaround and take for the dunk. 75-68. Knicks take the timeout there. Here's Carter Galt for three. Galt gets one to get knocked down. 78-68, a 10-point lead for New York. Inside, beautiful pass to Edwards. Eight-point lead for the Knicks. 247 to play third quarter. Carter Galt hits a three with 244 remaining. 11-point lead for New York. Here's Naismith. He misses a three. Knicks on the rebound. Gordon gives it up to Galt. Galt now going to his left. And Galt passed up a wide open shot to drive. And he will get it off the glass. Nice take from Carter Galt. 13 point lead for New York. Here's Brooks from the outside. He hits the three. 16 point lead. Now a 14 point lead with 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. Here comes Langford. He would get the shot to go. And a 12-point lead it is. Here's Celtics again with another opportunity. Naismith with a deep two. Makes it a 10-point game. 18 seconds left in the third. Here's Juice Manley for three. Buries that for the 13-point lead. Final shot of the quarter is Juice Manley, and that one just a little strong. 89-76 the score at the end of the third quarter. New York Knicks hold a 13-point lead here in Boston. We'll be back. And we're back for the exciting conclusion in the fourth quarter, and right away, Celtics get a nice take from Kemba with the left hand. Here's Coleco from deep for three. He gets it to go, 92-78 your score. Here's Kemba Walker, and that's a big three from Kemba. 11-point lead for New York. Here's Colin Sexton from deep. He hits 95-81. Later on, it's 95-85. Here comes Sexton underneath the bucket looking for one. He gets it out to Allen. Back over to Sexton. Sexton backs on out of the paint, then tries to drive back into the paint. He tries to pass it over to Coleco for the two from the block. That's not bad. They'll take that. 10-point lead, 6.38 to go. Nick's got to hold on. Here's Kemba from inside the arc. He gets a deep two. 97-89, right side, Kira Lewis. Lewis, open shot here, and Lewis will drain it. Look at that one rattle on in, 189. Now 191, just a nine-point lead for the Knicks. Kira Lewis keeping that lead going. It's a 12-point lead at 103.91. Five minutes left on the clock. There's the deep one from Tatum. Trying to bring his team back a little bit quickly. 11-point game with 3.52 to go. Jalen Brown trying to drive, can't do it, gets it to Kemba Walker, and he gets it over to Porter for the dunk. Nice dishing, nice swishing. Three and a half minutes to play in the game. Here's Levine from deep. He is keeping that lead strong. 108.96, here comes Kemba Walker. Walker outside to Jason Tatum. Tatum for three. He hits 108.99. Zach Levine named your New Balance player of the game here at the TD Garden. And Zach Levine has been the catalyst for the team. He led the team in points at halftime. He was one of the top performers in the first half. And he has been hitting shots from all over the place, dunking from all over the place, one-handed, two-handed, behind the back, whatever. Guy has been doing everything he can. Here's the dunk from Williams. And Boston all of a sudden finds themselves now at five points. Here's Tatum with the dunk. He would not be stopped. A three-point game with 1.56 to go. Knicks take timeouts. And the Knicks lead dwindling. They would presume to miss their next shot. Here's Tatum with a little step back, and that is good. Tatum looking to bring his team back alone by himself. A one-point game. Here comes Jalen Brown. He helps out. And the Celtics now with a lead. Knicks get one off of a free throw. It's 109-109 with 109 to go. How do you like that? Tatum from inside the arc hits. 111-109, Boston at home. 44 seconds. Here comes Levine. Levine with the turnaround dunk. One-handed. We're tied at the shithouse thanks to Zach Levine. It has been a nice battle between him and Tatum today. Here is Tatum. 
Tatum stopping, popping, he gets it to go. 31.7 to go. Now just 19 seconds, Celtics with it. Knicks forced to foul, Carter Galt fouls, they make the first, and Kemba Walker looking to make both, and he does. A four point lead, Knicks can't do it here, but they're gonna have to take a quick shot and then foul again. Here's Carter Galt, he gets it into the corner to Juice Manley, who cannot hit the three under pressure, and they will foul Kemba Walker. Obi Toppin that time with the foul, Kemba Walker makes the first, and Kemba Walker to relatively put this one away. He does it. A six-point lead with 8.1 seconds. Got to be impossible. Here's Carter Galt. He's going to back up outside. He's going to shoot from deep for three. He actually hits it. But it's 117-114. The only hope is that one of these free throws is missed. And that is not what Kemba Walker does. As he hits both free throws again for a five-point lead with two-tenths of a second. Zach Levine puts one up. It goes in. No review, though, to see if it was off in time. They say it was not. It is a five-point win for the Boston Celtics at home. What a come-from-behind win for Boston. Down by 13 to enter the quarter. Win by five. Kemba Walker puts up 31. Tatum puts up 30 with six boards, six assists. 15 and 12 for Williams, and Brown adds 14 points. For our Knicks, 27 from Zach Levine, 19 from Sexton, 18 from Galt, 16 from Lewis, and 14 from Brooks. 8.7 boards for Coleco. Now some bad news. Well, game number four was going to be simmed anyways. It was a 2-1 lead for the Knicks. Now it is a 3-1 lead after game number four. Tatum had 33 points, 10 boards. 31 points for Aaron Naismith. Colin Sexton threw up 41 points. 27 for Kira Lewis, 23 for Levine, 19 for Carter Galton. Allen with a nice little double-double. I did record a sim cast of this game. Unfortunately, it didn't actually record. So same thing with game number five, which was always the plan to sim through that as we were up three games to one. But now it is just three games to two. As Kira Lewis, 21 points, 10 assists in the game. Colin Sexton at 18 and 5. 13 for Carter Galt, 13 for Juice Manley, 12 and 13 for Jared Allen. Nice double double for him again. He has been doing that the last couple of games this postseason. Tatum put up 31 points, 10 rebounds, 29 for Kemba Walker, 22 for Otto Porter, 17 for Jalen Brown, and 17 for Naismith. He was 5 of 10 from beyond the arc. So Celtics battling back to force a game six, which I actually uh, played the game. I think I played. No, I don't. I didn't play the game. I simcasted the game, and Jason Tatum. No, I played this game. I swear, I played this game. I was gonna make it the next episode. I'm sorry, I got confused. I played this game. Jason Tatum dropped 56 points on me. Colin Sexton at 32 and six. 22 for Carter Galt, 21 and 10 for Kira Lewis, 16 for Zach Levine, and 10 for Obi to Obi Toppin. I had played this game thinking we were going to end the series here, and Tatum just destroyed me. I actually lost the footage, so I figured why not make next episode game number seven. So next episode is going to be huge. If you're excited for that, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content in all sports because that's what we do here. We can build a winner together. If you want to see some more franchise, just click right here to see some more.